What's up guys, it's Dan Rose here, and today we're going to be talking... Hold on, give me a second. Hey, what's up? So, Sonic got a redesign, let me get a redesign as well. I fixed up my stills last night, and everything looks better and high quality. So, now let's continue. Alright, getting back on track, we're going to start off, and I want to introduce two people. Alright, go. Yo, it's Void here. Vsauce, Kingsley. <laughs> Whatever he shows up. <laughs> oh, man. I'm probably going to fix and that. Today, we're going to be talking about the future of the Sonic movie, Sonic, and also if there's a potential sequel. Now, I'm going to start this topic off with, we already have faith that the Sonic movie is going to be good. I have faith in it, of course, because I'm a big fan. Um, for a future movie, we already know they're probably going to most unlikely get Tails and Knuckles. Tails and Knuckles in this like in the story and pretty much involve them as like the main cast. If they don't, my theory is that they will go more towards a Sonic CD route where Metal Sonic comes into play because I feel that they want to probably experiment more with the quill power that's been introduced in the story. Or they'll pull they'll blah, 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 they'll pull us Murphs and make Neil Patrick Harris the main character and they'll have just the Smurfs as the background characters so it was, they'll basically have the cop Donut Lord Nut Lord and um they'll have Sonic Tails and Knuckles as background characters do you really think they're gonna keep Donut Lord you're gonna keep or they're gonna keep Tom that's you don't the, think they're gonna ditch that, him that's afterwards the homie Tom. You can't get rid of the homie Tom we're gonna forget about homie Tom afterwards he's like yeah. the best character do I don't think? think that they're gonna do that. If they are gonna do something like that, then it's probably gonna be like Son uh, Paramount's Doctor Robotnik the movie. I just think Paramount's Doctor Robotnik if the movie. If they do an uh, origin story, but isn't that basically the origin story anyway? Kind, kind of, and not kind because of. Jim Carrey said that uh, Eggman's role wasn't really fully realized in the movie, and he said that he's never down with sequels. But for this movie oh, so maybe specifically. An origin story He's probably going to keep playing Robotnik. Which he has no choice in the matter if they keep making movies because I mean, he could always, you know, he rich. And from what I can see, I mean, he, he it looks like he really enjoyed it, and I feel like he did a pretty good job from what we've seen in the trailers. And uh, honestly speaking, it would make a lot of sense for him to continue playing it because Jim Carrey has always been one of those actors that has always been goofy, and I feel like him playing Eggman was the perfect role for him so i feel like if they do do a sequel i feel like that you know they would probably again go for a more metal sonic route and the only reason i say that is because again they probably want to explore cool powers and eggman being more intelligent if that makes sense because he in the movie it's he feels more like slapstick rather than like you know the nitty-gritty uh, silence before making mincemeat out of you mm -hmm. kind of eggman i kind of I'm not saying I don't like it because I haven't seen the movie yet. Of course, I wouldn't mind seeing what they have to offer. It makes sense because, like, if this movie, they talk about the quill power, and then Robotnik's like, oh, okay, this is what a quill power is, and then he uses it to create Metal Sonic for the sequel. That actually seems like a good idea. Now, for, for me, how I think the sequel can, like, work out is, like, instead of Metal Sonic, what I think they're gonna do, since this already counts as Sonic 1, I feel like if Tails gets introduced, they're gonna skip over, like, Sonic 2-ish, like, a Sonic 2-ish story of just being Sonic and Tails, and they're gonna skip to Knuckles, since we've already seen the tribe members already, and they're probably gonna continue off of that, and I feel like... So are you, are you implying that Sonic already knows Knuckles? No, he doesn't know Knuckles. What I'm saying is he probably already knows Tails after... I guess escaping. I want to say he escapes to the human world later, like when he's close to being a teenager. I want to say like 13-ish, 12-ish, he leaves, so he probably already met Tails. <clears throat> but he doesn't know who Knuckles is, but he knows that the Echidna tribe is a thing. He might make a bunch of original characters. The only character I've seen that's Long ever- Claw. Yeah, just Long Claw. I don't want to say they'll go and bring Knuckles, because if they do do that, then they're probably going to bring in Chaos Emeralds. And as far as we've known from Sega themselves, although I'm assuming they're not completely involved with the movie, 
they don't want to really bring Chaos Emeralds back because they kind of just seem like the ace in the hole out of any situation kind of ordeal and I really don't think that they want to go with that anymore and for that reason I feel like they're not gonna bring Knuckles. If they do bring Knuckles it'll probably be like just for like a temporary rival thing but if they are gonna do that why would they skip the chance to be bring CD like because CD is one of those is one of the more fan favorites because of its animation and storyline so of course this would be an opportunity to really show Sonic's like fast-paced attitude like you know get it done get it done right the first time attitude especially because it would also show maybe his world more so it's more of less of a real like Sonic being in the real world and more of him being in like his own world and of course explaining like oh this is what Dr. Robotnik has done to the world or in this case Eggman has done to the world and now I have to fix it because I feel like if they are going to basically make a sequel, they're going to probably bring him back to his home world and then also bring Eggman back as well. So that's probably how he gets there and that's probably why he might stay there potentially to try and like research the core power. The funny thing about it is I feel like they're going to bring the Chaos Emeralds in, but they're probably going to talk about the Master Emerald first. I want to say they might talk about the legend of the Master Emerald on how the... The Kinda Tribe uses the power, and then they're probably gonna go into leading into like showing Knuckles, because I did say um, that Knuckles might like grow up away from the Kinda Tribe and be his own little like thing, and actually just like grow away from them. So he's not really a part of them, but I guess Sonic will like mix him up with them since you know they already look alike, and they 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 might like I said I think. Robotnik's probably gonna follow Sonic, like you guys said, into his world, and he's gonna probably like research and still try to figure out the cool power. But he's probably gonna end up meeting Knuckles, and Knuckles either gonna either show him the Master Emerald or he's gonna show him the Chaos Emerald as an alternative power. So he's probably gonna use that instead of hunting down Sonic. Now he doesn't need Sonic. Now he can just either kill him or just stop him from ruining his plan. There's two outcomes to this, and kind of one of the things that I'm really worried about is we can end up either getting a Adventure 2 storyline where after the fact of him getting the Chaos Symbols, the worlds merge, and of course now we end up in Adventure style, or they're probably going to try and stick to a more like a Mania type of approach where it's in that world and in that world alone. And the reason why I say that is because if they do introduce Knuckles, and of course they expand on his tribe and the people, they're probably going to mention the uh, the prophecy from the Hidden Palace. So that is something else to take consideration. And of course they'll also have to also spend extra money with doing Supersonic if they do decide bringing the Chaos Emeralds, because if you bring Chaos Emeralds, fans are going to really want Supersonic. I know I would love Supersonic, but I know that's a lot of money. I don't think they need Supersonic in the movie. It would be real cool. I don't think they need Supersonic until later. Let's say, I mean, if, let's say, uh, Knuckles helps, uh, Dr. Robotnik get, like, some of the Chaos Emeralds and he actually makes the Death Egg. Let's say that. Sonic's probably gonna need those Chaos Emeralds. Just to literally have a fight scene in space. I don't even think they're gonna mention them, but that's just my... That's what I was saying. I don't... If, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would want to bring back Chaos Emeralds. I feel like they would bring back, like I feel like they would go the CD route because it's much less of a. Then they use stones too, like time, time stones. stones. But there was no transformations tied to them, and they were only really used to prevent bad futures. That was it. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like it would probably have to do something with time travel, but I also feel like with movies, they don't want to do time travel. I think the rings are going to be the main collection. I mean, we already seen that, but no, don't worry about it. I can edit that. <laughs> just everyone disappears everyone from life. Snapped. <laughs> no. we'll continue. So basically, um, we already seen that Sonic can use it as like teleportation. Yeah. And that's all I see them as. We don't see him actually collect rings. It would be weird that in his world there's just floating rings everywhere. I guess now they made it like a thing where you can actually hold and actually use it. Like they did in Static Alien. 
Or yeah, Nash. Th and that's or the funny like, part. I didn't even think about that. Because that's what was my next guess, is that they're going the Archie comics route, so it's probably going to be a lot darker. And that's why, if, if they do bring Chaos Emeralds, they probably won't introduce Supersonic as his own transformation, but rather probably Fleetway Sonic. Because I know that that's a far-fetched stretch, but of course, I feel like that would be really interesting for a movie where... So they make, like, Supersonic, but, like, he has a lot of rage and he's uncontrollable? Yeah, like in the comics, like Fleetway Sonic. Of course, making it where he's, he can become his own person. Like, they split him in half, or maybe even bring, like... I feel because the RG comics were a much more serious tone, and I'm not saying, like, the movie's gonna be super serious, because it's Doesn't Sonic. Like... It's Sonic, and, like... Literally every trailer we've seen, it's just like been not very serious. But I think, of course, with that being said, there's a chance that they can be more open-ended and much more like just overall seriousness. Because isn't this made like isn't this like being co-produced by Michael Bay? If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I don't remember. I thought the producer is Jeff Allen. Uh, well, I don't remember. It's, and they said it's made them like by the same people that made Fast and Furious so you would expect oh, a lot yeah. of action there's gonna be a lot of action and then that's why I also feel that maybe for a sequel they'll bring they'll bring it closer to the comics because I feel like for a cinematic universe it's easier to translate comics than it is to translate games and that's why this is more like because if you pay attention to the comics like in the old comics um, Sonic would have there was zone rings of course and that's how you get to zone the zone and he could also use the ring power to go fast, like a la Saiyan. But of course, they were also all around the world, and you could use them to also transform into supersonic. I think of Chaos Emeralds, of course, because that's after Sonic too. Now, you mentioned how with Tails being like the tie into Sonic 2, that it would be a bit more difficult, like, I guess, to directly. Like, why would they continue after, um,. This movie just to add tails to make a sequel. That doesn't sound good, especially if we already have Knuckles' people in it. You might as like well just gonna, skip it. They are gonna add tails, I feel, in this sequel. It's just like he's. How do you not put in his sidekick? It's literally a main character. They were like, how so close to saying a word I shouldn't say on YouTube, but they, they were literally probably, probably say tails. Said it. I'm gonna censor that out. They probably said and they added him later. Who knows? I mean, did you see that that animation on YouTube with, with real Sonic? <laughs> That's real cringy kid. as hell. But why is his head deformed? He tried. It, it looks good, actually. He tried. But then it, when you hear they, the voice that comes out of their mouth, that was leaked footage. So this this like this whole podcast is kind of like useless because it's already been leaked. That's not. <laughs> it's made by a fan, and it looks if pretty you, darn good. That's but what they want you to think. Oh, <sighs> sure. But yeah, it's gonna be the next big I Hollywood. I do feel film. like they would put Tails in the sequel. Well, it, it makes sense. I feel like they would have Metal Sonic as well. Just be, especially at like I said, don't want to repeat points too much. But like, I was gonna say we should probably Metal Sonic or like so. yeah, Mecha Sonic. Like, um, if they're gonna do like approach to three rather than I say CD, which I would personally prefer CD, but I guess if they were to do a CD type of thing, it would have to be less. CGI, but we're in a CGI age anyway, so I'm not going to be surprised. Um, if they go three, they're probably going to be Mecha, but then that would mean Master Emerald, Chaos Emerald, potentially Supersonic, because Doomsday's their own battle, blah, blah, blah. There's always going to be some kind of reference, usually in most cases, of Supersonic, especially if they bring Knuckles and then mention his tribe. They probably won't follow the same storyline, but of course, they will throw hints to it. Yeah. It's basically what I'm saying. Hopefully he becomes a successful cinematic Oh man. But I think the another thing to look at is that um, when it comes to Sonic, they're probably going to need help from outside sources. I feel like this time they're probably going to actually ask help from either Sega, or they're probably going to hire more people that know about Sonic. Like Tyson Hess? Like how they hired on Tyson Hess, exactly. He fixed the whole design and now this movie is actually going to be good. So, what if they hired back Tyson Hess again to do some more character designs for more original characters, and then they actually add uh, more people that just know about Sonic in general? I wouldn't say fans. I mean, Tyson Hess is a fan, but you know, <sighs> kind of feels like 
Like, this is my final <laughs> point. He kind of feels like Tyson kind of... Clutch? Yeah. <laughs> he clutched hard. It's like he kind of saved the movie. I mean, of course, the animation team impressed them. And then their and then then their studio closed down. The people that actually did it. Yeah, it's Disney's fault. They're the one who shut them down. Oh, really? Yeah, because they also worked on Lion King. I'm so serious. Final point, for me at least. If we get, I feel like if there's a potential chance for more Sonic movies, what I think they should do, and this is coming from somebody who's majoring in animation, really loves animation. I'm not a professional, not by any means. They should split it into two. One where it's CGI and force falls paramount and what they want to do. And I would want, personally, for Funimation to pick back up what they did with CD because CD was, again, really good in terms of animation. I'm not saying they have to, have to hand draw everything, like, uh, cell shade, but Sonic is one of those characters where he looks more fluid and more proper in less in 2D basically. So that's my point, that's what I would want. I'm not saying it. If anybody is like, say the hardest man, don't, it's bad. You'll yeah. probably get Tyson. <laughs> they get Tyson to do it. Probably. Okay. I think my final point is we already know the Sonic movie is gonna be successful. It's Sonic. <laughs> like there's no it's only it's, it's only it, exactly the, he, the movie's gonna, it's gonna sell well on opening day, and then it's just gonna, they're gonna make the monies. I already know they already have a planned sequel. It makes sense because Jim Carrey's like he wants to flesh out the character, which means it's either a sequel coming. They planned it already. It's already set in stone. Sega's probably gonna see that the fans actually like this and where it's going. They're probably gonna either give them free reign. Or they're probably going to be leaning on whatever they, they're going to be doing with the sequels. And therefore, now the last thing we're going to leave off, do you think they might actually go into adventure, an adventure style thing? Uh, probably. There's a potential chance for it. But I wouldn't directly say that that's what they're going to go for because it wouldn't make sense. Go for what? Adventure style uh, movie. Mm, I don't think so. The reason why is like... <laughs> I feel like they would have to add too many, too many like animal characters. I feel like they, they, I feel like they're trying to focus on Sonic, but also like, like some of the human characters as well. They really think Tom is gonna survive. Tom is gonna clutch the whole. They thing. added Maddie, and I'm like, who is this? <laughs> I saw a scene. I'm not is gonna it say. The girl that hands for him the, sne the sneakers. No, that's I think their daughter probably, but the black lady. Oh, okay. I think that's Tom's girlfriend. Well, we'll, we'll see. They look like some of the like worst, uninteresting characters ever. But I don't know. I'm gonna give them a chance. Hey, they're, they're not give, Chris Thorndike. Give it. <laughs> give give the homie Nutlord a chance. That's all I gotta say. Bruh. <laughs> well, that was a that was a quickie, at least. And since we're finished. Tomorrow there'll be another video, and we'll do something else for you guys. I mean, tomorrow we have to double a video, so hopefully we'll get that out. Because we have to do the big, basically the big podcast, so we'll be able to get that done. Are we doing a podcast? Yes, we are doing a podcast. <laughs> you have no choice in the matter. I sound like a dictator. If you say so. Damn. <sighs> well... It's been fun. I've been Dan. Hello. And this has been Void Gear. And before anyone ever asks, yes, I have a channel. No, there's nothing on it yet. There will be something in the future. Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. Goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> That's one way to say it. Goodbye. <laughs>